I know, it'd be really neat. <laughs> hey, you guys, look at this. <laughs> I know, it'd be really neat. <laughs> oh, boy. Not more trick-or-treaters. There's something I don't like about Halloween. Maybe it's giving perfectly good candy away to total strangers instead of me eating it. Trick or treat! Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Here's one for me, and one for me, and one for me. Ooh, peppermint. Now make sure you don't eat all the candy, Garfield. Leave some for the trick-or-treaters. Hey, the bowl's empty. The candy is all gone. Gee, I wonder where it all went. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd better go out and buy some more. <clears throat> First dinner, then you go out and buy some more. Ooh, more trick-or-treaters. Garfield, get the door. Wash your feet. <laughs> Sorry, all out of candy. Come back next year. Garfield, that's mean. Open the door and give them something we don't need. Here, we don't need this. Huh? Garfield, you can't give Odie away. Oh, the only candy we have left now is this old taffy you didn't eat last Halloween. Don't touch any of it. Hey, don't worry. There's some things in the world even I won't eat, and stale taffy is most of them. Ah, this is the night for free goodies. All I need is a costume. Let's see now. Hey, Odie, what do you think I should go as? Besides an overweight pussycat. The scarier the costume, the more treats you get. Now, let's see, what can I dress as It will be really scary? I'm coming to you live from the zoo, where visitors are flocking to see what may well be the scariest creature scariest? ever housed here. He's Catzilla, a rare and near descendant of the prehistoric saber-toothed tiger. Everyone seems very afraid of him. Which might mean they'll give him lots and lots of candy. John won't mind if I use his paint, and the reason he won't mind is he won't know. Where's that toy walrus John won at the Carnival Ring Toss game last year? Mind if I borrow these? Of course you don't. You're a toy. Now I need to capture that savage cat look. <laughs> no, no good. If I'm gonna look really mean, I'll have to think of something to make me look really Hostile. Oh, I'm a sorry, kitty cat. We have no more pepperoni for your pizza. How about some nice raisins? No, more hostile than that. Come on, Garfield. Let's do some aerobic exercises. Then we'll eat nothing but lettuce for a month. Not quite. It's got to be something to make me truly hostile. Hiya, Garfield. Yes, it's me, Normal. I'm coming to live with you, and I'm going to sleep in your bed. <gasps> That's it. Now, to the treats. Hey, let's see what's on the news. Before we go, let's take one last look at Catzilla. We can't get too close to this fierce beast because... Where's the fierce beast? Where's Catzilla? Oh, oh. He's gone? <laughs> Catzilla has escaped! <laughs> We better lock the doors. We're not far from the zoo. <laughs> hope they have peanut brittle. Hope they have peanut brittle. Hope, 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 hope. Oh, this is terrible. The beast is loose. Oh, oh, maybe I'd better warn the trick-or-treaters to get inside. Oh, did you see the news? They said... <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, no peanut brittle. That's right. Another good haul, but no peanut brittle. Of course I recognized him. It was Catzilla right here on my street. <laughs> what is it with these people? 
Don't they know how popular peanut brittle is? It was Catzilla. I'm sure of it. I was just watching the TV news report of how he escaped from the zoo. Let's see, 23 houses, 23 bowls of candy, total amount of peanut brittle? Zero. Maybe I'll have better luck at the next 23 houses. There he is, right there! <laughs> we have you surrounded! He's making a break for it. After him! <laughs> Do I tell everybody what you're up to? <laughs> Hiding place. Hiding place. No sign of him back here. When they catch him, they're gonna ship him off to a zoo in Siberia. Siberia? All they wanted was some peanut brittle. I have to get home. I'll be safe. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. We have reports that Catzilla has been sighted on the west side. He is extremely dangerous, and everyone is warned to watch for him. But I don't know. Yelp is right. Uh, it's Catzilla! This is John Arbuckle. Catzilla is on my front porch. Hurry! Come on, I'm registered. You can't do that. Take your hands off me. I'm a registered cat. Good work. We'll get him back to the zoo right away. You guys have it all wrong. I'm not Catzilla. I live in there. There, there's Catzilla. See, there, he's sneaking into our house. That was close. Imagine the terror and the danger of having Catzilla in our home. Let me out. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I'm not Catzilla. He's in my house, about to chomp the puppy and that guy who cooks my lasagna. I gotta get out of here. It's open at the top. Maybe if I climb out. I can do it. Yeah! I can't do it. Maybe I can pry the bars open. I give up. I'm not a superhero. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Hey, I'm a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Yoo-hoo! Anybody? I shouldn't be in here! Hello? You shouldn't be in there. You're not Catzilla. You're a flabby out of shape pussycat. You noticed. Where's Catzilla? I know where Catzilla is. And I've got to get home before he goes trick-or-treating with Odie and John as the treats. For some fruit, Odie? <laughs> Gee, you are hungry. Huh? I'll get some more snacks. Where is that light switch? Hey, how come the light switch is all furry? Catzilla's in the house! Oh, you've noticed. Oh. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
Maybe we can give him something to eat, like John's car or something. Wait, I know. Quick, Odie, open up these wrappers of taffy. Here, fella, trick or treat. <laughs> Having trouble chewing, fella? Well, I don't think he'll be biting anyone for a while. There he is! There's Catzilla! Be careful with him, men! Bet you're glad to have him back. Well, we sure are. Ooh, Sight, it's feeding time. Well, when I'm around, it's always feeding time. But Catzilla has quite an appetite. Each meal, he gets ten steaks, ten cans of salmon, a roast beef or two, a dozen lasagnas. And for dessert, and you may think this is odd, his favorite thing, Peanut brittle. Oh, it's wonderful. Peanut brittle. Ah, oh, what are we waiting for? It's feeding time. <laughs> Mind if I uh, join you for dinner, Smiley? to play ball. Ah, this dog never learns. Fine, let's play my favorite game. Go fetch and sleep outside. all you like. I ain't getting up to let you in, Odie. The Xantium repulsor is missing. Hm. If I don't find it, I'll never make it before the Saturnian rush hour. There it is. That curious quadruped life form has really saved the day. How could I possibly repay you, strange earthling? Yeah. <laughs> ah, seems like this selfish lasagna devouring orange creature has it pretty easy. It is time to turn the tables and make things right. The deed is done. Stop it. Garfield? Very funny. You almost had me for a moment. Where is Odie, anyway? Where's that dreadful stench coming from? 
Ugh, barf. What's with the doggy breath? I better go brush my teeth. How did I end up here? I must have been sleepwalking. Ah, there you are, Odie. <laughs> Come on in, breakfast is ready. Wow, you still can't get my name right after all these years. Mmm, <laughs> lasagna, yummy. Hold it right, dear. If he's Garfield, then who am I? This can't be. Ah. Odie and I have swapped bodies, which means that Odie's eating my lasagna. There you go, Odie. Yikes. No wonder Odie's breath is so unpleasant. I'm not eating that. Back off, Odie. Those lasagnas are mine. Right. Let's not panic now. Let's just... Ah! Odie, are you trying to tell me something? Yes, yes, yes. John, John, it's me, Garfield. I'm trapped in Odie's body. Do something. Oh, I get it, Odie. You need some exercise. What's the matter, Odie? Can't breathe. Must be a nightmare. That's it. Wake up, Garfield. Wake up. I don't believe this. Odie's watching my favorite TV show in my favorite seat. In my body. Come on, Odie. Let's run another couple of blocks. I've had enough sport for a lifetime. Arlene, it's me, Garfield. Yeah, right. And I'm the Queen of England. Arlene, wait! I'm really Garfield, and I can huh? prove it. Last year, I accidentally ate all your birthday cake. And and remember I, I fell asleep in front of the TV on our first date? Thanks for bringing back such good memories. What on earth are you doing in Odie's body? Hey, you tell me. Maybe that's what you get for always being so mean to Odie. You're right. I always treated him like a dog, and now I am one. Aw, oh, cheer up, Garfield. Just think of all the new things you can do now that you're a dog. Like what? Run after my tail all day and drink out of the toilet? Hey, Arlene! Hey, Odie! Isn't it an awesome day? You know what, Arlene? You may have a point. <laughs> Hey, this is fun. Uh, uh. Odie, are you insane? These dogs have a death wish on me. Odie, come back here. Garfield, this is your one and final mistake. Leave me, uh, leave him alone. Odie, what's your problem? You're protecting Garfield? Yeah. Can you think of one nice thing that Feline ever did for you? One nice thing? Uh, one nice uh, thing would, uh, no. <laughs> My lucky bone! Odie, bad dog, cat. <laughs> now hush. Stay where you are, okay? Which way did that cat go? Wait! How do we know you're telling the truth? I swear, dog's honor. <laughs> oh, wow, that was hairy. Come on, Odie, let's go home. Odie? Odie? Where are you, you miserable... Odie, no! Yeah! This could be my lucky day. 
the day I finally get rid of that pesky vermin once and for all. Yeah, I'm sending you to Ooga Dugu. That psycho postman stole my body. Ah! Odie, are you in there? <laughs> Dog's claws are so dull. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Another example of cat's immense superiority over dogs. Dogs don't land gracefully on four feet. There he is. I just risked my life for a laptop? Where'd that stupid cat go? Come back here, you four-legged thief! Oh, boy. Buddy, wait! This way! Not good. This way! Come back here, you orange nuisance! Not that way, Odie! This way! No way out. This is it, Odie. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for being mean to you, old friend. Goodbye, Odie. I'd better check how my quadruped friend is doing. My seven rings. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have interfered in the first place. Let's fix this mess before it gets ugly. <laughs> my delicate whiskers, my wonderful orange fur. I'm me again. I'm Garfield. At least things are back to normal. Ah! All things considered, the chair is big enough for two, isn't it, Odie? That be the pizza guy already? I just ordered. Hiya, Garfield! I'm not... I just... oh, oh, oh. Odie, tell me you didn't see what I just saw. Hiya, Garfield! <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs> Garfield, move over. <laughs> Hi, Normal. Come on in. Normal's master is out of town, so he's going to stay with us for ten days. <laughs> Isn't that right, little fellow? Ten days? You must be kidding. <laughs> Come on, guys. Be nice to Normal and make him feel at home, okay? Boy, aren't the three of us gonna have so much fun? Really? Oh, but who? Who? Yeah. Who? Who? Ah, just in 
time for the Ice Skating International Championship. I can't possibly miss it. Oh, yeah? There. I want to see the face of the man who did it. <sighs> I'm bored. Oh! Can we do something fun, like play games? Did you just hear someone screaming? <laughs> Garfield! Oh, my leg! I've sprained my cute, delicate leg! Oh! Garfield! Meow! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Meow! I can't believe John gave him my favorite seat and a remote. That's just plain unacceptable. Lasagna! Ah, lunchtime. I'm totally famished. No, Garfield. I don't think you deserve lasagna after being so mean to normal. Here you go, little fella. <laughs> Four cheese lasagna with extra parmesan. My favorite, my favorite lasagna. Ow. If you need anything or if Garfield and Odie are not being nice, ring it twice and I'll come, okay? <laughs> As for the two of you, I'm responsible for Nermal's well-being, so you'd better behave or else you'll be grounded for the rest of the week, capiche? <laughs> Odie, Garfield, would you be so kind as to bring me a glass of water? My throat's all dried up. <laughs> sure, normal. Come on, Odie, it's just for ten days. <laughs> This isn't even warm. How am I supposed to eat my cookies with cold milk? Ouch! You call that a massage? You're mauling my delicate fur with your claws. Try to be a little more careful, dog. Can I have my cookie or what? Here, crawl and get it yourself, your highness. <laughs> That's it. I'm through taking care of King Nermal. Nothing will make me go back in there, you hear? Nothing, Odie. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> hey, guys. I figured you deserved a little treat for taking good care of Nermal these past few days. <laughs> Garfield! Odie! Where's my hot milk? Okay, you get the cookies. I'll go get the milk. You dirty little liar. You've been faking your injury all along just to get royal treatment. And what if I did? You and Odie were so mean to me. Besides, you can't prove anything. Garfield, Odie, back off! Don't you see it's all an act? He's faking. Garfield, Odie, kitchen. You're grounded. <laughs>
have to fake anymore when I'm done with you, Nermal. <laughs> I'll lose my sanity if I have to listen to one more minute of that lame ice skating music. This is what we're gonna do. Hey guys, so uh, what are you eating in there? Mm, this totally yummy chocolate chip cookie cake. Mm. Can I also have a piece? Of course. But Odie and I are grounded, remember? We can't leave the kitchen. You'll have to come and get it yourself. No, 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 no! Is that Normal's bell ringing? <laughs> Field, Odie, out of the house now. Give us a remote and get down from the chair nice and easy. <laughs> or what? You and Odie wouldn't dare touch me. Fine. And don't say you didn't ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fella, glad to see your legs working fine now. <laughs> you don't even have a limp. You're not gonna get away with this, you hear me, Nermal? You'll need a lot more bandages once I get oh, I really outdid myself with this four cheese lasagna. Oh, too bad Liz said you couldn't use your jaws for another month. <laughs> I have a surprise for you guys. I've asked Normal to stay with us a little longer so he can cheer you up a little bit. Have fun! Ooh, ice skating! So sweet! Look at their cute butterfly costumes!
just about ready, Garfield. It's lasagna. Wow, lasagna. I haven't had any of that since, uh, well, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. Don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You got it. Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got him messy, you clean it. <laughs> he better be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. Pookie's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. Oh, he's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. On the clothesline, I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come on, Oster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone. Pookie's gone. Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. Sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. 
Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me see. Ouch! What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddle. Whoa! Stop! Stop! Go back to cuddle. <laughs> This one says stop. Oh, wow. Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Yeah. Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? <gasps> that, that, that pookie napper. That mutt took my best friend. Aww. Okay, one of my best friends. And I'm going to get him back. <laughs> you, that's, that's my, my pookie, pookie you've got, got there. there. I, I demand that, that you return, return him. Huh? Pookie is mine now! Mine! If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <sighs> this is called fishing for Pookie. Got a bite. Not a reeler in. Feels like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Huh. Hello. Okay, all right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his ma mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. Uh, let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you.
<laughs> you heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh -huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. I'm too busy to play right now. I'm making my special double-wide, triple-cheese meat and meteor lasagna for Liz's birthday. Nah. Can't have you underfoot just now, boy. But here's a nice bone for you. be meatier than the one yesterday, or else. Mm -mm. Uh, tomorrow, see if we can get him to give you more of those doggy biscuit treats I love so much. <laughs> Almost done. In other news, our rare alignment of cosmic forces will occur tonight. Professor Harlow Panfriends explains. You know that smell. I know that smell, and I love that smell. Jess, the dog star Sirius, otherwise known as Alpha Canis Major, is in a unique position with regard to the star Canopus, and are both in unprecedented alignment with the moon. Now, you say this could have a strange effect on dogs on this planet? Only the very stupidest ones. In fact, a dog would have to have almost no IQ points at all to be affected. Well, what have we here? <gasps> Lasagna. Take a good look at it, folks. It won't be here for much longer. Oh, no, you don't. It's lasagna. I have to eat it. That's what I do best. That lasagna is for Liz's birthday party. If you so much as touch it, I'm not feeding you until her next birthday. Or the one after that. Or the one after that. All right, all right. I get the message, Mr. Subtlety. I'm leaving this here to cool overnight. Don't. Just don't. Hey, I have willpower not to eat this lasagna. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Maybe just one taste. All right, all right. So there'll be one lasagna in the world that doesn't get eaten by me. It had to happen eventually. Oh, hi, boy. Did you enjoy that nice bone I gave you? Well, the lasagna can cool overnight. <sighs> Maybe I'll turn in early. Amazing. I thought for sure Garfield would devour that lasagna, but it seems he's managed to put it completely out of his mind. I will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. Why can't I convince myself?
I don't care how much my stomach growls. I am not going to eat that lasagna. <laughs> Did you hear anything in here? Uh-uh. I can't imagine what made that... <gasps> Lasagna for ten people! Gone! And I think it's pretty obvious who ate it. Garfield! <laughs> What's the big idea? Garfield, you ate lasagna for ten people! I did? Well, uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I meant what I said, Garfield. I'm never going to feed you again. Good night. But I, uh, that is, I didn't, I, maybe I did. It's come to this. Not walking in my sleep, but eating in my sleep. Sorry I ate that lasagna. And I didn't even know it. <sighs> oh, I bet it was good. I was too rough on Garfield, saying I was never going to feed him again. I'll tell him he'll get food again in a year or two. Garfield, I was thinking that never is a long time not to eat, so... <gasps> Garfield, how could you do this? Ugh. Garfield, how could you do this? And don't tell me you didn't do this. <laughs> if you didn't, who did? Uh, maybe the pup? Don't try to pin this on poor, sweet, harmless Odie. Odie couldn't do something like this. I've had it with you, Garfield. <laughs> I hope you brought me some doggy treat biscuits. Well, where are they? <laughs> what? No doggy treat biscuits? I warned you, runt. <laughs> hey! You're not getting away from me that easy. <laughs> When I get my paws on you, you you take orders! <laughs> now I got you trapped, runt. Uh, I was just kidding about the doggy treat biscuits. Uh, you can have them all. In fact, you can have mine. Uh, I never liked them. I hope the TV still works. As I have been continuously telling everyone, the odd alignment of the stars and the eclipse could turn a dog into a savage, out-of-control monster. Gee, could that have happened to Odie? Of course, it would only happen to a dog who was really and truly stupid. Uh, that would be our Odie. Garfield, I may owe you an apology. Let's go find Odie, quickly! Let me go! I have a hunch I know where he is. <laughs> Ah, there you are, boy. Are you okay, Odie? I think we'd better take you to see that professor we saw on the news. I called the TV station and got his address. He's on Century Boulevard. There's an all-night pizza place on Century Boulevard. Oh, no. There's a policeman signaling to pull me over. What's the rush, pal? Well, he's really gonna believe this. It's my dog, officer. 
we think he may be turning into a huge, crazed monster. <sighs> no, honest. A professor on TV said it was possible. We're going to see him right now. Roll down the window and let me have a look at this monster of a dog. <laughs> that cute little puppy. A monster. <laughs> Garfield, did you see what happened? Nope. Huh? That's just your basic Odie. Well, just in case, let's get him to that professor as quickly as possible. Sorry to wake you up so late, Professor, but we were worried. Is that your dog might be turning into a monster because of the pattern of the moon and stars? No. I don't think that's possible. Not with such a harmless little creature. <laughs> also, he does appear to be quite stupid. We had to come to a professor for that news flash? But what if it is true? Even if it is true, it does not matter. The particular alignment of stars that caused the change, it is over now and will not occur again until the year 3459 on a Tuesday. <sighs> well then, problem solved. If it ever even was a problem. Besides, I have to deal with the following alignment of the moons and stars. It may cause an eclipse that will affect cats. Cats? Cats? <laughs> yes, but not to worry. If it does happen, it will only affect a very small number of cats. Which cats, Professor? Only the ones that consume vast quantities of Italian food. <laughs> I think I'll go see if that all-night pizza place is open. Country Air Boys, wasn't it a great idea to go spend a week with my brother on the farm? No. Isn't it good to get away from the TV? No. And won't it be great to get up at the crack of dawn, work in the fields, and do chores? No, no, and no. And in that order. Yeah. Seven days with no TV, no pizza delivery, and John calling his brother a name he doesn't like. Don't call me Duck Boy. 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 Duck Boy, Duck Boy, Duck Boy. Told you. You like working here on the farm, John. It's a very efficient operation. That's my farmhand, Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Fine, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm just about to go commence the milk and the cows. Later on, Ralph will collect the eggs that my chickens have laid today. They are all very productive. Sure looks that way, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <clears throat> and later, he or I will milk the cows. I sell the milk, the eggs, the crops at the local farmer's market. It's going to be fun to work here, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You are way too happy to be here, Odie. I'm going to start the milking, Mr. Arbuckle, but I wanted to ask you about something. We got this ad here. It says, high definition cable TV, 250 channels of movies, sports, music, programs like Super Millionaire Name That Fish, and forget about it. We've decided not to have TV on this farm. No TV? That's inhumane. Well, there are some good things on TV. Maybe, but we took a vote. I let all the animals vote, and we all decided 
No TV on this farm. Do you want TV here, ladies? Mm -hmm. uh, what do a bunch of cows know? Just thought I'd ask. It's settled. No TV on this farm. Come on, John. You can go with me into town to pick up the supplies. Fine with me, Doc Boy. Garfield, you and Odie can do the chores while we're gone. I made up a short list. Chores? Is that anything like work? Oh, and before I forget, John... Don't call me Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Whew. We have an awful lot of things to do, Ode. We better get to work. First off, there's raking the leaves. Then we gotta wash the windows in the barn. Then we have to pile up the firewood. <laughs> Missed a spot. <laughs> All my favorite shows are on and I'm missing them. I know, I know, they voted. Well then, we'll just have to demand a recount. Huh? You know, Chad's. This here's how you get mail. Wouldn't it be easier to just go down to the supermarket to have a whole refrigerator case of this stuff? That's about if you give it a try, Cat. Now, this is a strange way to get milk. Excuse the claws, ma'am. Yeah! <sighs> Boy, you think that's funny, do you? Sorry, I'm just bored because there's no TV to watch on this farm. TV? What's so great about TV? What's so great? You can see the world without having to actually get up and do something. Look at all these great channels, like the All Hopscotch Network. And over here is special programming for cows. A cooking show with recipes for the most delicious cud you ever chewed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, everything on TV is so great. Do you really think we'll get TV out here soon? I'm working on it. Next up, we have to convince the chickens. Then the horses. We must be getting close to your farm, Doc Boy. We are. And don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Hey, that truck's from the cable TV company. I thought you weren't going to order it. That's what I thought, too. All hooked up, sir. I didn't order cable TV. Your farmhand did. He called, I rushed right out here. Got here before the pizza delivery guy. Pizza? Buongiorno! I came all the way from the city, many miles, to bring you Vito's fine pies, as ordered, Doc Boy. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Don't you call me Doc Boy, either. So the secret of good Chubal Cud is to start with the top grade grass and weeds. Avoid, you know, burrs, their stickers at all costs. What are you all doing? You should be giving milk. Shh. My cows aren't giving milk. But it's okay. My chickens have been laying lots of eggs lately. Uh, 
How's the egg production going? My chickens aren't laying eggs. Huh? But at least my horses aren't lying around watching TV and eating pizza. How much do you want to bet? What are you doing? No one's doing any work at all. I have to find out who's responsible for this. I have a feeling I know. And now, Mrs. Edna Flurp, for one million dollars, can you name that fish? Looks like Herbert to me. You know, this living on a farm isn't so bad now. My cows are watching TV and eating pizza. My chickens are watching TV and eating pizza. Even my horses are watching TV and eating pizza. And do you know what they said to me? Shh! I'm ruined. My farm will be out of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. I poured my life into this farm and... Doc? You called me Doc. Yeah, I guess I did. Here comes the mushy part. Do you know how long it's been since you called me Doc instead of Doc Boy? A while? Uh... Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Flirp. The name of the fish you couldn't identify was Herbert. <laughs> Told you. And now we're dialing a phone number selected completely at random to see if some lucky viewer at home can name this fish. It's a freshwater silver-crusted mango trout. <laughs> I know my fish. If the person we call is watching and can name this fish, he or she will win $100,000. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. The odds are like a zillion to one against him calling here. And again. Hello. Sir, are you watching Name That Fish? I know. I don't watch TV. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I guess I'm watching. Super! Then for $100,000, can you name that fish? Sure, freshwater silver crusted mango trout. Why? That is correct! That is absolutely correct! You win $100,000! Doc, are you okay? I'm right sorry about ruining your farm the way I did, sir. Who needs farming? I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm sort of rich. I'm rich enough. Follow that man, Odie. He's rich! He's rich! He's sort of rich. Big screen TV, all the pizza, paid vacations for your animals? Your prize money will eventually run out. So when it runs out, I'll go back to farming. By that time, everything will be in reruns anyway. Mmm, good pizza do you have out here. Mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> I thought it might be somebody. Just thought you'd like to know, I'm being entered in the big pet show contest. Not particularly. Oh, don't be jealous, Garfield. It's not your fault that I'm adorable and you're not. 
<laughs> you don't even know any tricks. Sure I know a trick. Wanna see a trick? It's called the hurl the obnoxious kitten out of the yard and have him land in the trash dumpster trick. Don't I do it well? All right, Garfield. Just for that, I'm not sharing the lasagna with you. Lasagna? What lasagna? Where's lasagna? First prize in the pet show is 100 pounds of Vito's lasagna. A whole three-day supply of Vito's lasagna? Where do I sign up? <laughs> no chance, Garfield. You're not cute enough to even be entered into the pet show. All the judges will just laugh at you. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> Boy, do I hate it when Nermal's right. Didn't make it, Garfield? I'm sorry. I guess the judges and I are even. I don't think they're so cute either. It's okay, Odie. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm sorry we had to reject your cat, but he's just so uncute. Well, you're no Miss Supermodel yourself, fella. <gasps> Is that your dog? Sure, his name is Odie. This is the cutest dog I've seen in 20 years of judging pet shows. You must enter him in the contest. Do it, Oatster. I'll be your manager, and if you win, we'll split the prize. Really? <gasps> really. <laughs> Note, I did not say equally. My dog seems to want to be in the contest. Excellent! I'll go fill out the paperwork. That means we have 83 contestants. 83 contestants? Whew. How's Odie gonna win all that lasagna for me against 82 other contestants? I'll have to do something to kind of narrow the odds a bit. Hey, Garfield! As soon as I heard first prize was lasagna, I knew you'd be in this contest. Not me. Not for that lasagna. I thought you loved Vito's lasagna. Not anymore. Not since Vito started making it healthy. Healthy lasagna? Ain't that a contradiction? Yeah, makes it out of soy and tofu, and then he throws in some tofu and soy. Ew. Sounds awful. It's lasagna I won't eat. That ought to tell you plenty. I'm gonna go to the other pet show on the east side of town. They have real delicious lasagna as the price. Hey, if that's where the great prize is, that's where I'm going. <sighs> One down, 81 to go. Really? On the east side of town? Would I mislead you? <laughs> 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 Oh, well, you always know where the good lasagna is, Garfield. Always. <laughs> 79, 80, 81. Huh, I missed one. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We seem to have lost most of our contestants. Gee, I wonder where they all went. We only have two. Odie the dog. <laughs> and Nermal the cat. Nermal, that's the one I missed. <laughs> Our two contestants will compete in several events to determine the winner, starting with the cuteness competition. I know you're rooting for Odie Garfield, but there's no way anyone's going to beat Nermal in a cuteness competition. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. First, the judges will score Odie with regard to cuteness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love a good intellectual competition. Well, let's see how the judges have scored Odie. Huh. Odie gets an 8, a 9, and a 10 for a total of 27 points. And now, we'll test the cuteness of Nermal. And now we'll put cotton into Odie's ears. Here's where I take an early lead. I do cute better than anybody. Oh. 
Observe what happens when you rub claws on the average blackboard. <laughs> and in the cuteness competition, the judges give Normal a one, a zero, and a minus three. I can't believe it. You're almost as uncute as that fat orange cat that applied earlier. <laughs> in any case, Oni has won the first event. The lasagna prize will be mine. Well, mine and Odie's, but mostly mine. We can't possibly lose. The next event will be based on intelligence. <laughs> Boy, can we lose. The object of this competition is to find two matching items in the pile. Oh, my. Normal will go first. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Finds one slipper and then it's match in seven seconds. Ah, let's see you top that, dog. All right, boy. Go select an item from the pile. A slipper. Okay. Now go pick another slipper out of the pile. No, that's a baseball mitt. We need a slipper. No, that's a flashlight. Get a slipper. No, that's an eight by ten glassing of Elvis Presley. We need a slipper. A slipper. No, that would be the Klopman Diamond. I'm sorry, Odie has brought you every item in the building except the matching slipper. Normal wins this event, tying the score. Odie, why can't you just bring me a slipper? Even you're not that stupid. Why can't you understand me? The contest will be settled by the final event, the obstacle course. Everyone, step outside. The pet who reaches the end of this obstacle course first will win the competition. And this piping hot lasagna from the master Italian chef, Vito. <laughs> Pets ready? On your mark, get set, go! Line. Face it, Garfield. Odie's lost. I'm not giving up that lasagna without a fight. <laughs> and Normal's heading for the finish line. Looks like this one is just about over, folks. One more photo, <laughs> Normal. <laughs> My public. What's this? Normal stopped just short of the finish line for a photo op. Just one more. Uh, now smile this way. One more photo, Normal. Uh, now you're good sight. Now you're under good sight. And now what's happening? Oni has come from behind and is heading for the finish line. And Oni's the winner! Hey! What's everybody cheering about? I didn't win yet. And it looks like it's going to stay that way. <gasps> oh. Hey, nice job, Odie. You're a champion. <laughs> Enjoy your lasagna prize, fellas. Oh, and Garfield, Odie won the contest, so divide it up fairly. <gasps> Did you think I wouldn't? Did you think I would cheat someone out of their fair share of lasagna? Odie gets a piece and I get a piece. What could be fairer than that? Here's your one piece. And here's my one piece. I won't eat it all now. I'll eat some now and some in eight minutes. Nothing will prevent me from enjoying this. <laughs> there was no pet show on the east side of town. 
What? Yeah. No pets on the east side of town? Yeah. Boy, uh, we ought like to get my paws on that evil liar who told me that. Yeah, we walked all the way over there and back, and now we're hungry. What do you have to say to that? Care for some lasagna? Thanks. I thought you'd never offer. We were supposed to share that pizza! Don't worry, I'll leave you the crust. Come back with that pillow. It's my pillow, I paid for it. Yeah, but I'm the one who got cat hair all over it. Garfield, there's a mouse in the kitchen. You were supposed to do something to keep mice out. I am. I'm eating every last piece of cheese we have. Boy, John and Garfield haven't been getting along well lately, have they? And you'd like them to be friends, wouldn't you? Well, we gotta do something. I can't live in a house with so much bickering. I'm a sensitive rodent. And I think I got an idea. Wanna help, Odie? No, no. Okay, here's what I need you to do. But I gotta whisper something. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. Monster movie. We're going to watch the movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. Show. Are you and your pet not getting Monster along? Monster are the two Monster of you Monster always Monster quarreling Monster and Monster bickering? Monster if Monster the arguments Monster in your house Monster are getting out Monster of hand, Monster maybe Monster you're Monster just Monster what we've Monster been Monster looking Monster for. Monster 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 huh? We have a new reality TV show called Pet Matchers. Our mission is to match the right pet and master. Each week, we put one pet owner and one pet through a series of tests calculated to measure if they go together. Last week, this woman came to us with her dog, an obvious mismatch. After our tests, she left with her new perfectly matched pet. Gee, that, that sounds, sounds interesting. interesting. Maybe we ought to go on that show. They'll get tested, they'll realize they're made for each other, and no more arguing. That is, if it works. Monster movie! Monster movie! Monster movie! Monster movie! Monster movie! Monster movie! With your host, Chuck Yenta. Welcome back! We're testing this man, John Arbinkle. John Arbuckle. Right, John Arbinkle, to see if he and his cat Garfield are a good match. <sighs> I hope they don't expect me to sing. The computer has analyzed your likes. Here are yours, John Arbinkle. <clears throat> Summer days, friendly people, walks on the beach, a good baseball game. Yep, that's me. And here is what the computer has determined as the likes of your pet. Beef lasagna, sausage lasagna, spinach lasagna, more beef lasagna. Did it mention lasagna? Smart computer. Let's see the other ways in which you two are compatible or incompatible. Favorite way to spend the evening? Favorite sport? Favorite hobby? 
How <laughs> this testing is making me feel like I need a nap. Mr. Yenta, have these tests enabled you to determine my personality? Yes! You don't seem to have one. But we have determined that you and your cat Garfield are... Incompatible! Incompatible? You mean Garfield shouldn't be my cat? That is correct. But don't worry, we've determined the ideal new pet for you and the ideal new master for your cat. We live with someone other than John? Garfield Cat, your new owner is... Freddy Applegate, age nine. Where's my new kitty cat? I want my new kitty cat. No, oh. kitty cat. Oh, oh, oh my. But Garfield and I have always... And John Arbuckle, the ideal new pet for you as determined by the computer is... This floor. Are you sure the computer didn't make a mistake? Computers never make mistakes. Now, you go to your homes and we'll have camera crews follow you and report back on next week's show how things are working out. I already hate this. I'm gonna take you home and we're gonna play Rocket Ride! No, no. Don't be sad, Odie. Our new friend will fit right into our lives and it will all be good. There you go, boy. I think that's all he does. Look at the bright side. I'll bet Garfield's getting along great in his new home. Kitty cat! It's time for lunch! Did someone say lunch? You did say lunch. Oh boy, I'm gonna like it here. For lunch, I'm having meatloaf with mashed potatoes and cream corn plus for dessert, I get ice cream with hot fudge on it. Well, what about the cat? What about the cat? And you get a nice big bowl of kitty crunchies. Yuck. <gasps> 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 Hey, if you think this is food, you eat it. <sighs> you're my cat, and you're gonna do what I tell you. We're gonna play Rocket to Mars. We are? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like playing Rocket to Mars. Get me to blast off at Mars. Three, two, one, blast off! I was right. I don't like playing Rocket to Mars. I get one bit. So, Froggy, would you like to go for a walk? Chase birds? Do anything? How about kicking the puppy off the table? My old pet loved kicking the puppy off the table. This is the most boring pet in the world. I'll bet things are more exciting in Garfield's new home. Now he wants to play cops and robbers, and I have to be a robber. Oh, where is that bad kitty cat burglar? <gasps> oh, no, stop! I'm going to have to arrest him and make sure he receives the ultimate punishment. This is the ultimate punishment. Maybe he's hiding in here somewhere. Ooh, when I catch him, he'll be sorry. I'm already sorry. No, I guess he's not in here. I'll go search around outside. <gasps> Boy, am I sorry. Gotcha! But not as sorry as I'm gonna be. The burglar's putting up a struggle. He's trying to get away. A fine idea. He's making a break for his getaway car! I am? It looks like it's going to be a high-speed oh. police pursuit! I 
never did this to me. Plus, he made me lasagna. Yeah! I, I can't move. I can't move. Where's my kitty cat? I have another game for him. Oh, yeah. I can move. I've got to get Garfield back in my life. I've got to get John back in my life. <laughs> Garfield, you should come back and be my loyal, devoted cat again. John, I should come back and you should be the guy who feeds me again. <sighs> hey. <laughs> well. That's what our camels recorded. I guess this pet match just didn't work. But things have all been straightened out. Garfield and John are together again. And Freddy has a new pet, too. We're gonna play Rocket to Mars! Ah! Hey, you come back here! You're my frog now! And meanwhile, here's your faithful dog, Odie. Glad to see Master and Pat reunited. And to thank you for letting pet matchers try to match your pets, we have a nice gift for you. Something edible, I hope? Our computer has calculated what would be the ideal vacation spot for you. And we're going to send you there all expenses paid. The perfect vacation spot? I can't wait. <sighs> the, the, the per per perfect vacation spot? I thought the, the computers didn't make mistakes. <laughs> Computers don't make mistakes. Pets make mistakes. My, 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 my